only one woman had a chapter named after her in God's final revelation, the Qur'an. Only one woman has been mentioned in that Qur'an an unmatched 34 times. Only one woman had a remarkable birth, and then she herself gave birth to her child in a unique, miraculous way. This was none other than the wondrous Mary, Maryam, peace be upon her, whose story of profound faith and virtue the Qur'an confirms time and time again and immortalizes. In one authentic tradition, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, included her in such elite company that he identified her among the very select human beings that have ever perfected their faith. The similarities between her times and ours and her challenges and ours make the account of Mary, peace be upon her, so relevant for us. Consider her circumstances, her society, her culture. Mary was born among the latter generations of the Israelites whose regard for religion had largely disintegrated. She was born in a world riddled with disbelief, a world that mocked God's signs and dismissed God's guidance, kind of similar to our secular, a-religious world today. But none of that phased Mary. She remained unwavering in her conviction, despite the world that mocked her beliefs. She was a beacon of light and a torchbearer for faith in a world that was an abyss of darkness and doubts. In any case, this woman has a particularly esteemed rank with Almighty God. And that is why Muslims are called to rehearse her virtues and to quench their thirst for guidance through the fountain that is her story. We ask Allah to further honor Mary, our mother in faith and in modesty.